All right, welcome back, fellow scientists. So in previous videos, we've gone over learning objectives and why you should care. I've introduced uh, energy carrying molecules, ATP, NADPH, uh, NADH, right? We've introduced a life equation and we've looked at the structure of a chloroplast. So now we're gonna describe the two steps of photosynthesis. So go to possibly a new page in your notebook as I cycle through these real quick. Um, and I'm gonna use green for this. Ooh, too far. <laughs> that's the next video. Um, so go ahead and write down process of photosynthesis because that's what we're talking about today. Process of process of photosynthesis. Perfect. So we're going to break it down into two parts, right? So our first part I'm going to do in red because that's called the light dependent reactions. And because it's December and it's Christmas colors. Light dependent RxN is an abbreviation for reaction, so we'll do reactions RxNS, right? So light dependent reactions, that's the first part. And I'm using red because it's it's like inputting energy in the form of light, but we'll but we'll get to that. Um but the basic definition for light dependent reactions is that it changes the light energy into chemical energy, and that chemical energy is stored in one of our um either a basket or a battery. Well both actually, <laughs> both a both a basket and a battery, um ATP and NADPH. So we'll go ahead and we'll continue using shorthand, right? Triangle in math and science means change. So changes light energy, light energy, into chemical energy, chemical energy. And that is in the form of our full battery, ATP, and our full basket, NADPH. Remember, it's a P because it has an extra phosphate and it's photosynthesis. Perfect. Um, so then I'm going to use black because I don't really like this name, but some people call the second part of photosynthesis the light independent reactions or the dark reactions, which it doesn't really happen in the dark because it still needs the light reactions. It still needs the, the ATP and the NADPH from the light reactions to function. Um, so I think the better name for it, the best name for it is the Calvin Benson cycle. But we'll still use the black pen just because it's the it's the you know the dark reactions, right? It's the light side and the dark side. Um, Calvin, thank you, Star Wars. Benson cycle. So what happens with the Calvin-Benson cycle is this chemical energy that's stored in ATP and NADPH is used to take CO2 and to build that up into sugars, right? So chemical energy, chemical energy is used to build CO2, right, into C6H12O6, right? Or carbon dioxide, we can also say this. We'll just write it down here. Sugar. Perfect. So now that I've described it in words, now I'm going to use kind of the same color scheme and I'm going to describe it in a picture. So go ahead and draw yourself a nice chloroplast, right? Nice big oval, okay? And then in the chloroplast, we have smaller circles, which are called, help me out, Yep, you're right, thylakoids. And then I'm drawing them kind of in stacks or in columns, which are called, yep, good job, grana, right? And they all should be connected, um, but that's okay. Um, and then the white space that is kind of like, if this were a cell, the white space would be the, the cytoplasm, but it's not, it's a chloroplast. So the white space is called, yep, the stroma. Good job, good job. Okay, so our light dependent reactions start with light, obviously. So I'm gonna use yellow. Right, so we're going to have light, and remember that is one of the reactants in our life equation for photosynthesis. So light is going to come in, and light is going to provide a constant source of energy to this process known as photosynthesis. And what that's going to do is that's going to provide the energy to fill up all of our batteries, ATP. Right, so ATP is coming out, and then it's going to also provide energy to fill up uh, our baskets, NAD. PH, right? And remember, what do we fill them with? If you said electrons, that's right. Okay, so now we can't just keep on continuing to give electrons from the thylakoids, give electrons, give electrons, give electrons. So those electrons have to come from somewhere. Where do they come from? Where that's, that's where water comes in. So our H2O is our supply of electrons. So H2O also enters the light dependent reactions, 
Remember, that's another reactant for our photosynthesis equation, right? And the hydrogens are ripped off, and you can see we have NADPH, so hydrogens kind of tag along with the baskets. But these, these bonds between the O and the H, they're of electrons, so they're ripped off, and they're going given to chlorophyll. And uh, we'll talk about chlorophyll in a later video. But those electrons then are put into this basket, NADPH, and the hydrogens are put into that basket. So then what do we have left? Well, we have oxygen. We have O2 that's left, and that's coming out of the process. And if you'll remember, that's a product of, of photosynthesis. Um, so let's go ahead and let's talk about energy, right? So energy, we're receiving a continual, continual source. So we don't really have an exothermic side um, of this reaction, but we do have an endothermic side of this reaction, right? So go ahead and draw a little graph, right? A little energy on the y-axis, time on the x-axis. We'll give it a title. Right? I can only fit endo, but if you can fit endothermic, that's great. Um, so on this side of the reaction, what we're doing is we're taking ADP right, and NADP+. Plus. So this is ADP and NADP+. Plus. And we're, we're inputting energy from the sun. And these things, with the help of a molecule called chlorophyll, can capture that energy um, and then make it into, I don't have too much room, but we'll say ATP right, and NADPH, right, our full battery and our full basket. Okay, so that's going back to chapter two uh, and energy ideas and things like that. Um, so now, so that's the light dependent reaction. So now let's go to the Calvin-Benson cycle. Um, and I drew this chloroplast like this just so it wouldn't get too confusing, but in reality, there's not like a side of the chloroplast with thylakoids and a side of the chloroplast without thylakoids. Um, they're all kind of throughout, but I just kind of left this space open. That's just the stroma. So we know that the light uh, dependent reactions happen in the thylakoids and the light independent reactions or the Calvin-Benson cycle. Um, so we'll label that Calvin-Benson cycle happens in the stroma. Right. So Calvin-Benson cycle then is going to start by intaking CO2. Right. So the CO2 is going to go into the cycle and then it is a cycle if you're, uh, you know, Wondering why it's a cycle or wondering what the intermediates are in here, take AP Biology, or I'm sure there's plenty of other videos online, um, which, we'll, which we'll talk about that. But it is a cycle, and this cycle is going to use that ATP and that NADPH, it's going to use that energy to take that CO2 and to build it up into C6H12O6, right? So CO2, remember, is a reactant in our photosynthesis, our life equation. And then sugar, C6H12O6, that's a product in our life equation. Um, but then ATP, the energy is being used, so it's no longer a full battery. Now what is it? Yeah, that's right. It's a half-charged battery. So ADP, right? And then NADPH, we use the hydrogens, we use the electrons to build it up. And so now we don't have full baskets anymore. Now we have, yes, that's right, empty baskets. So now it's NADPH. P plus, and those then go back to the light dependent reactions and they get recharged with the sunlight and then they give electrons and then more water comes in and the electrons get stolen from water and everything like that. So let's look at exothermic, endothermic um, on this side on the Calvin-Benson cycle. So we're going to draw two graphs because unlike the light reactions, we don't have any light. So we don't have a constant input of energy directly from light, but we do have a constant input of energy from ATP and NADPH. So we'll have energy over here and we'll have time here. And this is our exothermic, our exothermic reaction. So we're going to start with lots of energy, ATP and NADPH. So that's over here, ATP, right? And NADPH, right? And then that's going to, that's going to be broken down into ADP, ADP, and NADP+, plus, NADP+, plus, right? Now, if something gets broken down, usually that, so that releases energy, but then usually that energy is captured by something else. So with the Calvin-Benson cycle, that energy is captured by CO2 being built into, into sugars. So draw one more graph, energy, time, this is our endothermic side. All right, so our endothermic, we're going to start with CO2 and then all energy in our full batteries and our full baskets. So CO2 is going to be used to build that CO2 and put it all together into C6H12O6. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the process of photosynthesis.
So today you learned all about the process of photosynthesis, the light dependent reactions, and then the Calvin Benson cycle. This has been Mr. Leo. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the flip side.